Dylan Gabriel might have started his college football career at UCF, but now he's a Sooner for life. And he's brought some special fans with him all the way from Hawaii. It's always an adventure. Dory Gabriel might be Dylan Gabriel's biggest fan. And she's known Dylan was destined for something big from a young age. Dylan has always been um, an excited child. I mean, he he loves everything that he does and puts a lot of love and care into everything he does. Um, and always has had a lot of energy. The Gabriels are from Mililani, Hawaii, an eight hour flight to Oklahoma and 10 hours from where he first started his college football career at the University of Central Florida. Dylan Gabriel. That was a very far trek, right? You can pick the furthest state probably from Hawaii. It's hard to get to, um, but we managed to go to quite a few games for him. Gabriel announcing he would transfer to Oklahoma in 2022, a place that his family had never been until Dylan had already committed. But Dory said, Says it's something that just felt right. He's in! Dylan Gabriel! One of the coaches just said, welcome home to Oklahoma. And just the play on Homa and home just hit me. Over a year later, Dory says she couldn't feel better about her son's decision. I think it, it's just the way it was supposed to be, the way it was designed um, for him to be here at Oklahoma. And as OU plays his former UCF team today, she says it might bring up some old memories, but in the end, it's just another game. It's a homecoming of sorts. I, I liken it almost to that of, you know, being at the prom and uh, seeing an old girlfriend, maybe an old flame, if you will. It, it's, it's familiar, but yet you know you're where you belong. Um, so I think it'll be a little nostalgic in some ways. Dory says through Dylan's transfer to OU, his fans go beyond the Sooner State and all the way to the islands of Hawaii. And even with a five hour time zone difference, those fans are dedicated to watching Dylan. We don't have a pro football team, so Hawaii really gets behind its, its family, if you will. When, when I'm out and about or when Dylan's home and people see him, they will stop him and, and talk to him and wish him well. You know, just say we watch you, we support you, we care about you. You know, thanks for representing all of us. Dylan always has a piece of Hawaii with him. The red carnations on a lei that his mom brings from home and he wears each game day. I carry it on the plane um, and it's just part of something that I know that I enjoy as a part of my game day experiences is giving it, presenting to him and when I see him, you know, on television interviews and wearing it. I just think it's a nice nod to where he's from. She says in turn, Hawaiians will cheer for the Sooners on Saturday, and he'll be thinking of home with each pass he throws. He loves Hawaii, and you know, he said he wears his Sooner name on the front, his name on the back, but he represents the people of Hawaii, and he takes that very serious.